is live today on race day at Virginia International Raceway. It's the penultimate round of the 2021 IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge season. Michael and Steven joined Brian Herta Autosports at the beginning of this year and they're driving the number 54 Universal Cody to the Lobster and CCR. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, we'll start with you. Talk about your season so far, the highs and lows, the, the performances you've been the most pleased with. Yeah, I think this year has been a real learning year. Uh, we've got a lot of experience running the different setups in the car, getting used to it, just seeing how this Hyundai Veloster and TCR runs, and just getting uh, getting the hang with it. And I think we're starting to get that in that direction. Stephen, what about you? You've driven so many kinds of cars in IMSA and other uh, series around the world. How has your season been so far? Yeah, so the highlight was definitely our podium finish at Daytona at the start of the year. And uh, it's been great being part of the Hyundai family and I'm part of Ride Herder Auto Sports. So well, like Michael said, a uh, different environment for us this year. So um, yeah, it's been, uh, been a fun, le fun learning process. So you opened the season with a podium finish at Daytona, your first race with the team, and it was Hyundai's first ever podium at Daytona. That must have been especially gratifying. What are you thinking for the last two races this year? So we definitely want to end the year on a, on a good one. Uh, it would be nice to have a podium at the first race and then again at the last race, which would lead into, uh, into the, the short off season and prepare us well for, uh, for next year. So definitely going to give it uh, all we can to, to end on a high note. One question we had from Susie from White Plains was, you guys came from the Audi and you used the same system with the hand controls and then the, the switch for the traditional pedals for you, Stephen. How difficult was that in this Veloster, changing it from one car to another? I, I don't think it was, uh, it was very difficult at all. I mean, We've uh, refined the system a lot, uh, moving on here to with Brian Herta. So we've uh, been able to uh, make the system better, uh, make it so that I'm more comfortable in the car, with, especially on the braking system. So I think in all, it was a very positive move. So at Virginia this weekend, we've had very limited track time. It was a normal session on Friday, and then yesterday, our second session was rained out. Well, not rained out, but it was very raining. We're not expecting rain for the race today. So most cars didn't run, but you did complete the session, and, and you did a lot of laps. Michael Johnson, talk about your feelings in the car with the rain, the hand controls, and the... What are the sensations like for you? Yeah, so we ran all the, the session yesterday just to get some uh, more rain driving in. Uh, we haven't had that much this year. Just to get a feel for uh, how it how it handles, how I how comfortable I am in the car. And that really takes a lot of a lot of work just because with me being paralyzed I don't feel uh, very much. Especially when it rains that makes it even more difficult. So we decided to get as much rain driving as we can so that we can uh, be prepared in the future whenever we do have some rain. And how much, uh, how challenging is it for the both of you to get used to a new cockpit size with the hand control system, different feeling in the car? I don't think it's too much of a, an issue. Uh, once you're in the car, you acclimate pretty well to the uh, environment that you're in. Uh, so it, it's not really an issue for me. Uh, some consistency that you guys have had is that you've been driving partners or worked together for 10 years. Talk about that relationship because it's very rare in, in racing for two drivers to work together that long. Yeah, it's been a great relationship. Uh, I remember the, the first weekend I first started coaching Michael uh, back in Mid Ohio a long time ago. So it's been a great a great journey, a great team. Like, it doesn't feel like it's been 10 years, but um, yeah, we've had a, a lot of big success together. Uh, we've won one race as a mission pilot challenge, and Michael's had pole positions, and it's great to it's been great to have seen him progress and achieve his motor racing goals over, over these 10 years and um, yeah, it, it's great. We, we still need to add a couple more wins to the, to the win tally though. So Michael, Steven started as your coach and then became your co-driver and listening to you two working out on the radio is different than any other driver pairing I've ever experienced and most people would say the same. So what would you like to say about your relationship and working with Steven? Yeah, working with Steven over the years has been fantastic. It's really knowledge of uh, motorsports in general and just his skills that he has on and off the racetrack that he can teach me and I can learn from and eventually teach other people uh, down the road once I grasp it. Uh, it's, been, it's been great. Are you getting some more experience in the organization? This weekend you've got Brian Hurd calling your race and he's going to do the same in Atlanta. Talk about that. Oh, it's fantastic having Brian on, on our radio and uh, I look up to him 
so much. We've had so much experience. It's so good at uh, that role of holding race. So uh, I feel very fortunate that, uh, that Michael and I have this experience this weekend down in Atlanta. And uh, yeah, we're very excited to, to be working with them uh, closely like that. Recently, Hyundai announced their Hyundai Journeys campaign where they chose eight people from within the company uh, to represent the brand and they were photographed by a world renowned photographer Ann Leibowitz. One of the eight was you, yeah. Michael Johnson. I think you participated in the shoot. What was that experience like for you? Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. I, I, I learned so much just working with a renowned photographer like Annie and really just getting that experience and soaking it all in. It was, it was great. So in this sport, you guys are photographed all the time, but to work with somebody with her experience must have been amazing. Uh, it was fantastic. It was a great day at Watkins Glen that we had. And she was, her and her team were just fantastic. They, they made us feel very uh, at home and relaxed. Uh, it was, like Michael said, a great experience. Well, you're coming off a strong top 10 finish at Laguna Seca. Two to go. You're starting ninth here today at VIR, and we wish you lots of luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. It.